Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the MSFT Connect Test Redirect error in Windows. So you're coming across this pop up, and then it's this application I found. This tutorial will be for you guys. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And you want to start by opening up the Start menu. And into the Start menu search, you want to type in RegEdit, so R E G E D I T. Best match to come back a RegEdit. You want to go ahead and right click on that. And then select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to select Yes. Now before you do anything in the registry, I would highly suggest that you create a backup of it. So in order to do that, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the file tab up at the top left. Select Export. You can name the file whatever you want, but I'd personally suggest naming it something that made sense, like the date in which you're making the backup. And then Export Range should be selected to All. Save it to convenient location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, just do File Import. So you can just make sure you, you go ahead and actually save the file. I didn't actually save it, but you click save and then if you ever need to import it back in, you should open up this import window and then select open once you've navigated to it. So pretty straightforward. Once you have the registry open here, you want to go ahead and expand the HK local machine folder. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Do the same thing now for the system folder. Do the same thing for the current control set. Same thing now for services. Go down to the NLA SVC. So scroll down a little bit here. Expand that one as well. Expand the parameters folder. And now there should be a folder that says internet. Go ahead and left click on the internet folder one time. And now on the right side, you want to go ahead and find the Enable Active Probing Entry. So right here, for this D word value, go ahead and double click on it. You want to set this to zero. So whatever is in this value data field, you want to delete it. Type the number zero on your keyboard, so don't spell it out. Just type the number zero. Left click on OK to save the change. Once you're done with that, close out of here. Restart your computer, and that should hopefully be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.